Hello folks and welcome to my live stream. Thank you for joining. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, like and follow, hit the bell notification to find out whenever I post a video on YouTube. You post almost every day right now. Um, today's video is going to be uh, critters. Basically all about critters 101. Critters, the animals, how to friend them and to find them, where to find them what to feed them, what they like, what their favorite food is. Um, basically, my Dreamlight Valley episode 21. I'm going to get right into this. I'm going to use the uh, Google Docs that I've shared in my previous videos. Um, we're going to go over each biome, the animals in that biome, and what they like. So we're going to start down in the Galate of Trusts, where we're going to take care of some crocodiles first. Now, the crocodiles are fairly easy. Um, you stand still, they'll stare at you. Uh, you take a step or two when they're like looking around and and then you walk up closer to them. As you get closer, then you can give them the gift. I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate this for everybody in the video so you all know exactly what I'm talking about here. So our first stop for the day is gonna be Glade of Trust. We're gonna try and keep this quick. So I'm going to do the uh, fast travel. Go to your map, click on the well, it'll take you directly to that location, for those of you who don't know. Um, usually the first thing I do when I get to any location is I'll just make my rounds. I'll collect all the stuff that's growing, collect all the, the fruits, the herbs, the flowers. But we're going to get right into this video and start looking for our, look for our friendly neighborhood crocodile. Usually once you find them and you approach them, they'll run away. Then you need to approach them again. And that's when you need to watch for their little head to pop up in alert status. And when they relax again, then you could take a couple steps towards them. I'm not finding our crocodile as of yet. Each crocodile color has a different schedule to when they will appear, what days. Now, crocodiles' favorite food is the lobster. But they also like herring and squid. If you happen to have that in your inventory, you can build a friendship with them by giving them that. There we go. I see two crocodiles right there. Here's a yellow one. He's going to run away. We'll follow him. As we approach... Where'd he go? He's over there on the other side of the bridge. And there he goes running again. We're gonna so there he just went into alert and he runs again. Let's try and catch, keep up with him. Don't lose him. There he goes. Oh. Oh, we went into alert and I moved. Nope, I probably shouldn't have moved. All right, we're gonna keep following this guy. We'll get we'll get it going eventually. Oh, his head's popped up. It's down. Up, oh, down. Oh, he's running. I blew it. I blew it. Let's try it again. Oh, his head is up. Nope, and I walked. I think I blew it that time, too. Sometimes it just doesn't catch. You try and walk up to him. Sometimes it just doesn't start. I had that problem a lot with the rabbits. Not catching. I don't know if that's me or if that's the croc. And he's running again. Oop. Head is down. Head is up. Head is down. Oh, gonna run. He's gonna run. We got a runner, folks. This one might be a little difficult to catch. We might have to trade out for the other crocodile. Oop. Ah, darn. Maybe I took too many steps there. I think I almost had it that time. We're going to try this one more time. Approach him. His head goes up. Nope. 
turn. And since he didn't run too far away, we're going to try this. Pops his head up. Relaxes. Pops head up. No. Darn, his head was just going up as I started to move. I think we're on the right track. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's try the other one. See if we can find the other one. There was one other crocodile here. You just gotta be patient with these guys because sometimes... Okay, we're gonna try for the blue one. Let's watch where he goes. Oh, his head popped up. And he runs. Let's follow him. Head popped up and he runs. Ooh, my. Okay, you gotta make sure to have lobster in your inventory before you do this. And I just did that before I started the video, so I know I've got lobster. And his head goes down. It goes up. It goes down. It goes up. There we go. Now we're in the groove. As long as I don't mess it up. As soon as he puts his head down. You're clear to take a step or two. But don't push it. Or he'll run. You get the idea how to make friends with the crocodiles. If you don't happen to have a lobster on you, the herring or the squid will work. Now, if you plan on doing some of these, it helps to do some fishing at first. Just to make sure you have an ample supply. And there's usually two types in each biome at any given day, any given time. We're going to give him a lobster. That is the crocodile's favorite. And you'll find the crocodiles in the Glade of Trust. Always in the Glade of Trust. And we got a dream like gold. Feed a critter. Easy peasy. And the way to tell what you've got is go to your wardrobe, go over to companions, and you'll see which ones you have. I've got the blue crocodile and the golden crocodile. So that's that's how you uh, get yourself a uh, crocodile. Now let's go check out the foxes in the Frosted Heights. The foxes in the Frosted Heights There it is. Boom. They like white sturgeon. Well, their favorite food is the sturgeon. They like salmon. And the foxes are going to be... Yeah, the foxes are kind of cool. They're kind of like the rabbits. You gotta keep a close eye on them. Just watch their behavior. Bouncing around. Walk up. Bounces around. I might have to chase him a couple of times before he'll let me. Bounces around. I come up to him. Bounces around. Maybe I need to chase him for a little bit. Bounces, bounces, bounces. And he runs and he bounces. And he runs and he bounces. Okay. He runs and he bounces. He runs and he bounces. There we go. He ran. We, there we go. Then we approach him. Easy peasy. And the foxes. Favorite food is the white sturgeon. Let's find it right there. Yeah. 
All right. Feed the foxes their favorite food. That's gonna give me three of three. Next is uh, ten. Yeah. Okay, so next one, we're gonna go do the rabbits, give them some carrots. So we're going to the peaceful meadow next. Well, seeing as we're right here next to the forest of valor, let's take, check out the raccoons. The raccoons like blueberries, and we've got three of those. Raccoons, when they get medium close to you, they'll stand still, like staring and nervous, and they crouch down, and you can take a step. I'm going to see if I can get this one set up. Where'd he go? It'll be a distance from you. It'll start jumping. Oh, this little guy. Nope, you can going back and forth maybe we can get lucky and catch him on uh nope not sure about that when they get medium close to you they stand still like staring and nervous when they crouch down then you can take a step and they'll stand up, so don't move. And it's basically the same thing as with Crocs. You just watch for that that look when they're looking around. Get up close to him again, see if we can get him to look around. Nope. He's on high alert. No. I think you just, you got to get them into that, uh, that groove where they're kind of looking around for you. There we go. Might have it. Uh, I think I might have. Oh, we think we got it. Think we got it. If I don't mess it up. All right, just a couple more steps, and we give him a blueberry. That is their favorite food. And almost. Turn the camera a little bit so we can see. And he sits down. Then you can approach him. Once he sits down, give him that blueberry. There you go. And we got ourselves a memory. The new one, yes. The new one. From the Lion King. All right, and since we're following our map down, we're just going to continue on down to Dazzle Beach, where you'll find one of the easiest critters to feed, make friends with, and that'll be your turtles. Look around, find yourself a turtle. If they're hungry, when you walk close to them, they're going to hide in their shell. You gather these fish first. As soon as you get a chance, get Moana's fishing boat fixed up because that's free fish. There's a turtle. And you can either eat those as free energy. Just walk right up to the turtle. See how he hides away in his shell? As soon as he pops his little head out again, though, 
He'll look to you, and he's ready for you to approach. Just so easy. And just give them some seaweed. I always carry some seaweed, peanuts, and carrots with me. I can always feed these critters while I'm here. And the nice thing about it is they'll usually give you something decent, like a bag with furniture or clothing or a motif. Oh, that's nice. Let me open up the other bag while I'm at it. And since we're so close, nice. All right. We're going to head right on up here into the peaceful meadow. And in the peaceful meadow, you're going to find the, the rabbits, which at first were really, really difficult for me. Sometimes they can be troublesome. We'll see how they go today. They bounce around, they hop around, you walk around up to them, they'll run away. They'll bounce around, they'll hop around, you walk up to them. That was the second time. They run away, they bounce around. And that should be it. I should be able to approach him this time. Not quite. Not too close, or they'll get skittish and run away. Ah, I threw it off. If you don't get close enough, though, it won't register. I'm going to chase him for a little bit. Let's go, rabbit. Let's go, rabbit. You wascally rabbit. And the chase is on. There we go. Approach and give him a carrot. All right, you get the idea. You approach the rabbits, wait for them to bounce around a bit. Approach them again, they'll run, bounce around a bit. Fairly simple. It can be tedious sometimes, though. Um, we were just in the Glade of Trust. We did the crocodiles. Let's go, since we're here, we'll go up to the plaza and I'll show you the squirrels. Squirrels are fairly easy as well because the squirrels will walk right up to you. Now, in order to get the squirrels, you're going to need to level up Remy's restaurant a little bit. Level up with Remy just enough so you can get the squirrel, the um, peanuts in his restaurant. Because you can buy the peanuts in his restaurant. I see a squirrel up there. Wait, I see a squirrel here. The squirrels will walk right up to you. You can approach them without any hassle. It'll be easy peasy. And we got another bag. Nice. Let's open up that bag, see what he gave us. Oh, how cute. Okay, we're gonna say we're gonna save the sunlit plateau for last. Just because there's a few different kinds of birds there. We're going to the Forgotten Lands next. Where we're not gonna find any critters. But it's believed that they're going to put the ravens here. So the um, Forgotten Lands for now, you're free and clear. We've done the squirrels in the plaza. We did the peaceful meadow. Foxes, the rabbits, raccoons, sea turtles, squirrels. All right, so the sunbirds are last on the sunlit plateau. We'll just travel there right now. Now the the birds in the sunlit plateau are kind of interesting because there's different kinds of birds and they like apparently different kinds of flowers. That's not always the case though. I didn't do a whole lot of prep work for this video so I'm going to grab some flowers before we do this. And as I do that I'll describe to you what we're going to need for each one. Um, I don't know it offhand, so I've got my little Google document open to read it. Um, first thing is the uh, Golden Sunbird. Apparently, they like the Orange House Leek the best. That's their favorite. 
Um, they also like sunflowers and yellow bromeliads. So if you run into a golden sunbird, then you need to give them an orange house leek. I saw a bird over here. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, wait, wait. There's one right there. Which one is that one? Um, is that the emerald sunbird? Let's see if we have a green passion lily. I don't have one on me. Is that a turquoise sunbird? Maybe they like the pink horse leek house. Yeah, pink house leek and the blue passion lily. Let's give them a pink house leek. But the birds are fairly simple. You can walk up to them. There we go. And there you have it. That is how you take care of the critters, the Critters 101. Um, each of the sunbirds is a little different. The golden sunbird likes the orange house leek. The emerald sunbird likes the green passion lily, the green rising penstemon. The orchid sunbird, um, it's unknown. It's currently bugged. The development team is aware of it and they're working on it. Um, so no matter what you give them, they will always like it. So feel free to hoard up stuff and just give them a flower or berry whenever you see them. Um, the red sunbirds like the red bromeliads and the turquoise sunbirds like the pink house leeks and the blue passion lily. They don't necessarily have a, a liked food other than their favorite food. The only sunbird that we know of right now that has... Um, a liked food in addition to their favorite food is the golden sunbird and it likes sunflowers and yellow bromeliads everything else has a specific type of house leek or uh, lily that it likes um, I will link the Google Doc into the description of the video and that is critters 101 um, as you'll notice I put my uh, my well onto the other side of the river on the Sunlit Plateau because at this moment there's no way to get across the bridge. We don't have a method to, to clear this stuff out. And once that does come out then I'll put my my well back onto the other side where it belongs. I prefer to have my well next to Goofy's stall along with some of the bushes to harvest so I can just do my, my rounds around the entire biome collect all the flowers, all of the herbs, the fruits, and drop them into a chest. As you'll see, most of my videos I have it set up so I can easily hop right into the biome, drop the ingredients into a, a chest, and then just continue on my way. So when the next... Uh, when the next patch comes out, when they release anything new, then hopefully we'll have some something new. But right now, I've completed all the quests with all the characters. Um, I understand a lot of people are still having some issues, so um, don't buy the game on my account. I'm not promising it's going to run on your system as well it has run um, on mine. I was lucky as far as the only issues I really had were some bugs with connection being online. Um, the event I was uh, I kind of lost out on the event for a while because I spent some coins and then I lost the premium so I'm not gonna spend the money on the premium again until they get the uh, until they get a little bit more fixed up um, I was able to collect a lot of these items um, some of them I did for did twice which was uh, kind of nice though because I liked I like the shirt there um, I wish I wish I would have gotten those balloons before it bugged out on me, but I wasn't able to. Um, I did get that outfit, and yeah, I wish I would have been able to get um, Miguel's guitar as well. I really like that. A few of them I got, and all all the ones I did get, I still have, so they can at least see that I bought it. I mean, I still have that spaceship model. I had it on the table in my home for a long time. 
Um, same thing with the uh, grape soda motif. And the Incredible Squirrel I still have. So, I don't know. It's just really weird. If I go to my companions, you can still see I've got Incredible Squirrel there. I can I can enable him and have him be a, be a buddy. So I had the premium at one time. So if they need to look at my account to see that, oh, I'm sure there's a way they can do that without, you know, without having to look at my video or anything else. But anyhow, that is Critters 101. Um, to get into a little bit more here, just to let you folks know, um, in that Google Doc, there is a chart that tells you the animal spawn times. Um, you're gonna wanna check that chart if you're gonna wanna make all the little critters your favorite, your friends, and have them as a companion, you're going to want to reference that chart because each animal, like I said, spawns on a different day. Say on Monday, you're gonna have the classic squirrel and the red squirrel. On Tuesday, you'll have the black squirrel and the gray squirrel. Then on Wednesday, you'll have the gray squirrel again and the red squirrel again. Thursday, you'll have the classic squirrel and the black squirrel. Friday, the black squirrel and the red squirrel. And it just kind of alternates a little bit here and there. Each one will appear for a day or two and then take a day or two off and then reappear. Um, really depends. And that seems to be the pattern for all of the animals, like the foxes when it comes to the black fox. Um, they appear only Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then the rest of the week, they're not there. The blue fox, only Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. There are some critters that are somewhat rare, though. You're going to want to reference the chart if you want those special critters to show off. Um, the red fox is only going to show up on Saturday between 2 a.m. and 8 a.m. So that one's going to be kind of a hard one to find. And it might take a feeding or two or three to make them your friend. Um, I've noticed some of the critters will become your friend after one feeding and some of them will take multiple feedings. I don't know what the rhyme or reason is behind that, but that's it. So we've got the, uh, the white raccoon, emerald sunbird, golden sunbird. You can see I have not spent too much time with unlocking critters. I've just been uh, planting and harvesting. But you can see what the ravens will look like when they come out. They are already in the cr critter collection list here. And the white fox, the red fox, classic fox. I think the foxes are really cute. Can't wait to get one as a friend. I, I have, uh, the turtles were always my favorite. The turtles were always my favorite for a long, long time. Um, but now I'm really beginning to uh, really, 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 really like the foxes. Nice. Okay, well, thank you all for joining. Don't forget, it is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. I'm going to end on that note, so make sure to uh, lend a good ear, be a good listener, uh, be aware of signs of, uh, of somebody that's abusive. And we're not just talking physically, but also emotionally and spiritually. Um, they they don't always go hand in hand. Sometimes you'll get one and not the others. Um, but they're all dangerous and something to watch out for. The best thing you can do is to lend an ear and be a friend. And don't judge, you know, sometimes just listening can be the best thing you can do and be available. All right, everybody, you all keep being awesome and keep joining my, my channel. I'm going to try and stream as often as possible on Twitch and re-upload it up on YouTube. I'm starting to record some shorts on YouTube, so if you haven't checked out my channel yet, make sure to check it. The, uh, Link will be in the description. Thank you all for joining and keep being awesome.